70% of consumers don't complete an online purchase due to something called cart abandonment. Karen, what tricks do online brands use to chase down those cart abandoners? So these companies, online marketplaces, know that it is easy to convert someone who's abandoned something in their cart as opposed to trying to find a random on the internet. So that's why you get emails with like discount coupons and ongoing sales and all the time. And once you leave their website, they stalk you around with retargeted ads in your news sites, in your Instagram, in your inbox, reserving you images of the products that you've abandoned. Because this is actually a technique that was developed by Boohoo, which is kind of like a big trash chain store <laughs> in the UK that's online only. And their whole premise was to just show pictures of the items over and over again because then it normalises it as a purchase. Yes. Yeah, I, I end up buying a lot of stuff online from my girls because they don't have a credit card. They're not getting one for a very long time. But they, that's why I buy... You should I, tell them about Afterpay. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, yeah. the techniques that are... So I, I try as best I can to sort of educate them and say, hey, look at that. Do you think that's real? And the ones that I've noticed that have been jumping out a lot when we get close to purchase is the, the one is peer pressure. 35 people are looking at this now. And the amount of times my kids come in my room and say, Dad, we got to get it now. There's only seven of them. Eight people are watching it and only seven <laughs> left. And, and the other one that I thought is quite clever is they know that if you have to put in your purchase information, your credit card information or your purchase information at the end, you often fall away because it's too hard, you finish shopping, you just let it go. So they try to get that information early, and they do it with pop-ups. And the pop-up will have something like, it, it, it's it manipulation, it's like reverse psychology. Mm. Those, you'll say, no thank you, I'd rather pay exorbitant prices. <laughs> or, no thank you, I love being ripped off. <laughs> and so they're, they're playing these sort of, these mind games. But the latest one that got me, and this one should be illegal, but it's not, mm -hmm. is the speck of dirt. I don't know if anyone else has that one. What? On mobile. Uh, it looks like a speck of dirt, and when you go to move it, you click mm -hmm. and you open. And it completely hooked no, me. No way. Completely no, hooked me. Good. Is that a it's real thing? Up. It's a real thing. Yeah, it, it's, been, it's been in the... Oh, people are going to Google it and uh, check it out. But speck no, speck of dirt, of dirt uh, touching is a real trick. They, you have people that are dedicated, that spend 12 hours a day just thinking about usability and how to get yeah. people how to get people to click at the top right corner onto that. And they use yeah. all kinds of techniques. There's all sorts of techniques, to your point, like they're using behavioural psychology. Even at that point of checkout, you'll have, you'll have scarcity value. So it's not just so, so, social proofing. You'll have, you know, there's only two of these left and you see all the sizes sort of going. You're like, oh, my God, it, what if this is the last of the basic white tees ever? I must buy it now. Glad the good people are winning. <laughs>